Hello, hello everyone, and welcome back. <laughs> it's been a minute. It's been a long minute. Probably like actually like two years. Welcome back. I was busy with life. A lot's happened. I um I had a baby and now I have decided, drum roll please, to self-publish my book. Now I took a break from YouTube. I took a break from all the interviews. It was just getting a little overwhelming with all my other things that I was, I've been doing. I have my own business also, which is still happening. And so I just got a little overwhelmed with all the things I was juggling. So I took a break, took a step back, had life happen to me, planned some things, didn't plan others. Um, and I, basically have decided this is one of the, th the thing that I didn't plan I did not think that I was going to self-publish I thought I was going to um just find an agent go traditional and when I had my baby I decided that time is too precious to spend in the uh query piles of unread emails of agents um, so I just, I, it's just a timing thing for me. I decided I don't want to spend any more time querying and trying to, um, find an agent, go that trad pub route. And the book that I decided to self-publish is called A Vengeance and Flames. And this book actually got the furthest I've ever gotten in trad pub. I was talking to several agents who requested it and it looked really promising for a little while, like really promising. Um, ultimately, it did not work out, obviously. <laughs> and I just, this book is really special to me. And so I decided to go ahead and release it to the world. Um, it's again, Vengeance and Flames. It is a legend retelling historical fantasy about Olga of Kiev, who is the first female ruler of Kievan Rus, which is the medieval kingdom that like Russia, Ukraine, and Belarus originate from. So it's set in 950 AD, like really, really early medieval period to the point where this is almost a not even a pure Slavic culture. This is a combo between the Vikings and the Slavs because the first rulers of Kiev and Rus were Viking, according to history. So <clears throat> she's the first female ruler, uh, female ruler and she, her husband, is the reason she becomes the the ruler is because her husband, who is the prince of Kiev, gets murdered uh, by a neighboring a Slavic tribe, another Slavic tribe, and she vows to get vengeance, revenge, and she goes on basically kind of a insane <laughs> revenge spree, and it is very very similar to the show Vikings in terms of like vibes and feels, um, but it has this like first female ruler kind of female rage with the romantic subplot couldn't help myself um a theme so i am super excited about it if this is your a uh, kind of book that you like like legend retelling quasi mythology historical low fantasy keep an eye out on this space i am going to be doing like giveaways i'm gonna basically resurrect this channel talk a little bit about it potentially even host more interviews um but just like pace myself. I think I just got too carried away with how many interviews I was doing and it was just getting a little out of hand, <laughs> even though, even though, it, I mean, this is like a side hustle for me, this, this YouTube channel. So, um, it wasn't that I was probably doing a ton of posts by other comparative, like other channels comparatively, but for me, it was a lot. So, but I am planning to do other videos here and um, maybe talk about the history of Kiev and Rus and I don't know, other funsy things, but I'm definitely gonna do giveaways and not just of my book, like other booksy stuff. So keep an eye out on this channel. Um, if you haven't yet liked and subscribed, do that because it will then pop up and you might get some free stuff. So um, uh, thank you for watching if you're watching and I hope to see you in future videos.